Hi, and welcome to this week's Mazel class. I am your host, Rabbi David Katz, as always. All right, we're in the Mazel book, and we're continuing Viter and Shas and Paiskim. The bearing of where we're at. All right, let's roll. Are you guys ready to roll? Are you ready to rock and roll? Let's go. Sikum gedare hamazel legabe oimis ha oilam. A review of the levels of mazel by the oimis ha oilam, the nations. Hashem is bayrich. Nisin al kol am ve am kaychiv o mazel yedua. The Lord. Second, the Lord. There we go. The Lord has placed over each and every nation a star and a mazel as is known. And they are the heavenly ministers of the nations. Now you should know every heavenly minister, the spiritual angel, is mashpia, influences to a earthly host. So there will be a sar, a host on the ground. It used to be kings. Now it's Trump, for lack of whatever. And in the 70 nations, each one has a mazel in the firmament and a host above. And therefore they will make from them a god. And they will serve their God, not the God with a capital G, but God with a lowercase g. We call that sheet tooth. Every nation will have will become a ball sheet tooth. Hold on one second here. I received the mail. Okay. So there we go. When you're not serving God and you belong to one of the nations, or you are the the nation itself then the minister that brings you shefa people will worship that the the minister is that you can call it whatever you want uh but at the end of the day it's cheetah meaning it could be buddhist uh, buddhist state a christian state an islamic state uh bugs bunny state mickey mouse state hulk hogan state whatever you call your state Whatever you worship, the ball state, I mean, it can be as silly as anything, whatever it is. But it's uh, it's silly because it's not like regular Vodazara. That's a much more serious crime. It takes God with a lowercase g, uh, and you, you serve it in order to get the Shefa. Um, again, a Vodazara, real idolatry is totally removed from God, and... It doesn't, it doesn't understand or think that this is Shitu. It thinks that is God Mamish. Okay, so if you worship Joe Pesci, you would think that Joe Pesci is Mamish God. God forbid. Every city has its own mazel. And every star and muzzle gives sustenance to its own nation. And the Omas Munhagim Tagas on Hagas Teva. The nations. Uh, how do you say this word? Munhagim are accustomed. Uh, I don't know how you. Uh, there's a better tense, but I don't. It shouldn't be past tense, but are accustomed under the Hanhagas providence governing again these are bad English words it's it's Hanhaga um, 
Uh, hot hog is like how you carry yourself, right? So they're, they're carried out by nature, by the arrangement of heaven. So just the natural universe, which delivers Shefa. Now, Iceland gets different Shefa than Denmark, which gets different Shefa than Australia. So nature gives the Shefa according to the reality in every city, in every nation, every host. And then the nation of Shituf will serve God with a lower G by deeply understanding God with a capital G, but calling it God with a lowercase G in order to get its influence. And they are commanded to not serve idolatry. So there's a difference between idolatry and Shituf. And Shituf is allowed. It's not the, the most preferable thing in the world. But it's not the same as idolatry. Idolatry, we, are, the, we but they are commanded. To do not serve idols lest they forsake God completely. That's why uh, Shituf is dangerous. You're one step from removing God. The Tafkid, the mission or goal of the nations, is to be vessels for Tachlis. Without any shaykhis, direct shaykhis to serving God. Denmarkians do not serve God. Right? The Denmark Parliament, I'm making these words up. I don't know if they have a parliament or what they have, but the Denmark Parliament does not convene by saying, Well, it's great to be a Denmarkian, and today we're going to serve Hashem Akadosh Baruch. Hu. They don't say that in Denmark. What they say is the Denmarkian gods have graced us with great Denmarkian flags. And those Denmarkians and the flags of the Denmarkians will become vessels for the overall Tachlis that God, capital G, needs to run his universe. And they will have no idea how it serves God. But their Denmarkian lowercase g god will be quite happy with them delivering their Shefa of Denmarkian goods. Ein Hashem Yisbarech Mashgiach Aleim Veshkuche Putis Ela Veshkuche Klalis. The true God, Akrosh Baruch does not govern our Denmarkian friends. I'm sorry to pick on Denmark, it just popped in my head. Um, only with a general Hashgacha. There is a general God for the Denmarkians. So they have on their on their wall in the courtroom it says Denmark is great it is great to be of Denmark uh, God bless Denmark and that's called general providence but the Denmarkian infrastructure does not have God's fingerprints on it it has the Denmarkian God's fingerprints on it it's good to be a Denmarkian so the Denmarkian gods give Denmarkian flags. Again, I'm sorry to pick on Denmark. It's just, I got to go with it. So they, they, they understand their personal influence. Again, if it was Egypt, then it's, it's, that's a bit of idolatry. But if we're going to pretend that it wasn't idolatry, but it was Shituf, then we say the god of the Nile. Right? Egypt is sustained by the god of the Nile. And then they have pictures and the pyramids of little Nile gods. But the god, again, Egypt was idolatrous, pardon me. Um, but, you know, when there's Shituf, there is an idea by the people of God, Mamish God. But God, they're not looking to, to serve God. And their Shituf affiliation is doesn't mandate that there is a God. Even though there is a God to them. For example, the state of Israel, imagine if the state of Israel today 
had a god named uh, Bob, right? The the Bob, like in Baha'i faith. And everyone knows the, the Passover story, Israel and the land. And then we say the, the menorah is a great tool because the Bob God gave it to us. Wouldn't that be a little odd? Right? Israel and, and the nation of God, all these things. And then we say, yeah, this other God gave us this stuff. That would be very strange. Because everybody, everybody associates Israel with Hashem. So conversely, in the other in the nations, God is not integral to Denmark, right? We don't say in the in the Bible, blah blah blah. Denmark was created by God, blah blah blah. But if you were to go back to the beginnings of Denmark, you could probably find some good sheetuf in there. And God, Hashem Akash Baruch Hu, is not is not necessary for them to claim direct governing from. But, like we said, if anybody wants to connect to God, then Bavakasha, go to God. If Denmark wants to say, we are now removing Shituf, we, we understand Akash Baruch Hu, and then, okay, that would be interesting. So the Shituf gods is what gives them div uh, personal attention and with the power given by God himself. So the Nile River has an angel over it. God gives that angel power and the Egyptians, when the Nile would flood, that is divine providence through that angel making the Nile a fertile place for Egypt. It doesn't mean God is like gone. God is always to be found and revealed. But he's not. Again, the state of Israel, everyone knows God's fingerprints are on it. The Denmarkian state, no one says, oh, look, it rained in Denmark. God must be happy. No one says it. All right. Ready to go fight in Shas and Paiskim. Gedir Hamazul Gabe Am Yisroel. The level of Mazul by the nation of Israel. Zayar Lifnei Nadina Satayar Atayra. The Zohar says that before the giving of the Torah, all creatures and creations of the world were still bound by Mazel. After the giving of the Torah, the nation of Israel went out from the governing bodies of stars and constellations. This is said about those who work in toil and invest in Torah. If you're going to be a Mumar, Someone halakhically a nachri. And you are a yid at the same time. You are still under the governing bodies of angels and constellations and Denmarkian flags. Sorry, Denmark people. Uh, this this mazel governing that you inherit is only if you are serving God and invested in his Torah. But someone that's not involved in Torah is placed under the Shefa of stars in Mazolus. No, 
Just like we said. Adam But a man who accepts upon himself the yoke of Taira for the sake of heaven. He is removed from all the matters of this world. He's got, he's got the governing of God with Hashkacha Pratis, unique governing by God. And he is above the powers of nature and mazel. So if someone has the coordinate that nature is against them, God does not like people named Steve. Sorry, Steve. God does not like, or sorry, nature, pardon me. Nature does not like guys named Steve. Whenever they see someone named Steve, they find them $20. When, when the police officers in Detroit are giving out parking tickets, they check the license plate, and when it says that the owner of the car is Steve, they fine him. Now that is a silly example, but the world is a silly place. When you are involved in Torah on a higher level, even if your name is Steve, God will be your God. So the cop looks it up and he says, Oh, Steve Jones, we're going to fine you $20 because we don't like guys named Steve. Then God would intervene and God would say to the cop, Dale, Dale, leave Steve alone. He works at, at Toys R Us and he's a good guy. And he'd say, Yeah, he just, you know, he probably just did, had a bad day. We'll let this Steve go. Again, that's a silly example, but nature is very fickle and silly. God is the opposite. God is not fickle and silly. So if you want to be fickle and silly yourself and worship Shituf, then you will be subjected to nature and its funny state of existence. And then if you worship God directly and you are involved in the Torah directly, then God is your God, and even though the world may laugh at you because you're uh, deemed fickle and silly by the statutes of this world, God will come to the rescue and you will rise above those things. Hold on one second here. Okay. And where are we at? Nefesh Chaim, Kasev ki ha Adam hamekabel alot mal atoyra ki doishli shma lem leemis. Who nala me al kol inyan yazeh ha oivim umushkach me ito yisboyre cheshkach practice the marla malhiris kliches with vayim and mazlas kula. Kevon, Shehu Davuk Petoira Vekosh Boruchu Mamish Kivyochu. So that's interesting. When you delve into the Torah, that is akin to be glued to God Mamish. How do you have a direct connection with God? By being directly in the Torah. O Miskadish Bekidusha, Yoyesh, O Torah Kedusha. And you're connecting to the upper holiness because the Torah is connected to the upper holiness. 
Shiva Maila in Aruch Mekula Ayla Miss Vehina Tennis Achius Vakila Kula Lakula Kaikas at Vine. Haria Adam Isiba Mechai Mekayim is Kula. Lo Maila Mekula, the Echim Shah Shidia and Alisom Eda is better all day Kaikas at Vine. Like we said. Hem Shech Nefesh Achayim Hevdel Bein Oisi Lishma Lebein Oisi Shalo Lishma. What is the difference between studying for the sake of heaven and not studying for the sake of heaven? What about a messianic who connects himself to the Torah? Well, that is not a question, Jacques, because last time I checked, Yeshu is Shituf. Nowhere in the Torah does it say to connect to the she tooth lowercase g god one or two hello there you go hem she never said hi i'm a domain i do a smile i mean i do a little smile oh the cash is beauty because i'll suck him because see that she my name because they're a verse from psalms 108.5 because see me i'll share my name because they're from the heavens is your kindness. Lokasha. Once one verse says, Until the heavens is your kindness. And the other one says, On the heavens is your kindness. Lokasha. Just like we said, either go on to God or go to God. You are either until the heavens or on the heavens. You are either until the Torah or on the Torah. Hi, no, shall I see the Torah? Shall I shma? Im kivara shagam whom I write to the fan is Baruch. Im kozer dain lo ni skarish for ni salish ye hanagas is Baruch ito be kolin yano the mila mekleikas advayim the chenk ziv bo rak ad shemayim. Hi, no ad ha kleikas advayim akvoyim shemayim below the mila men. You you are you can go up to. The limits of this world, if you're some kind of uh, not for the sake of heaven person. But when you toil the Torah for the sake of heaven, it says on top of heaven, right? So you have God's total governing on you. You are above the powers of nature. Read Victor and Shots. All right. How much more do we have here? Just out of cure e os iti. We got a little ways to go. All right. We got a long, long journey. A fun journey. Chapter five. Yeah, this is a good chapter. All right. Oh, man. This just keeps going and going. There we go. All right, we're good. And again, uh, we may stop here. What time is it? It's about that time. Let me see where we're at. Habi or ain mazli Yisrael who calls man shem shomer itayra ach im lo yishmrua yishlo behem la mazl. I think I'm going to stop here, gang. This looks like a really good place to stop, and we'll pick it up there next time. That's a, that looks like a good good class, and we'll talk about that. Yeah, no, we 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 got a really nice way between here and the rest of the chapter. It's good, 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 good stuff. All right, so thank you for listening. Be well, and we'll see you in. Uh, there's no class Thursday because I will be at a wedding in Safed, the holy city of. So it looks like this is it for this week. We're working out the bugs in the new yeshiva. And uh, good willing. Um, next week we'll have class uh, probably on Monday. Tuesday there's no class because of Shavuos. Wednesday is after Shavuos. And Thursday we should uh, reconvene of that week. So see you then. Be well. God bless. Bye-bye.